The drama is real! What's up everybody and welcome back to another colorful episode of the Not So Very Challenged Green Generation! So I think we're gonna age up our girl in this episode, which means our teenage dramas are coming to an end and now they'll be young adult dramas. We still need to try to figure out who we're gonna have our next generation with. I feel like who we have the baby with might not be endgame, so it's okay if we have a baby with someone would be different that she ends up with. We're gonna see what happens, but I am very much enjoying all the drama going on and I can't wait to have more drama. So let's hop into the video. But first, you thought I might've forgotten, I did it if you aren't already. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. It is my dream to hit 900,000 subscribers. And I know a good many of you aren't subscribed already. So what are you doing? Join our family and help support me. And let's get to that 900,000 goal by next year. Okay, 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 load it. All right, so we're back with your girl. We're going to be eating our little guy. School just ended. Our brother is vibing. We do need to have an enemy rival. And again, she like doesn't. I mean, if we last minute joined a different squad, maybe? Let's try it. Cheer team, I guess. I feel like she'd be good at cheer. Okay, she quit computer team. She's joined cheer. Lattice is our rival. Okay, so we have a rival. Oh my gosh, maybe I will be able to do this drama. Llama. We don't have our activity today, so I think she's going to travel and we're gonna go to like a teen hang and see who shows up. We're gonna go to the bowling alley arcade. We haven't gone there since like our birthday and I feel like that's like a perfect little teen hang spot. Why don't we have a little drink? Maybe she'll try to use a fake. Oh, Ross, I've noticed your impressive grades make you eligible for early graduation. No, I don't wanna graduate early. I didn't mean to be that good. Who is this? Anybody? No. Nope, these are all adults that are coming to bowl. Anybody upstairs maybe? No, shoot. Okay, I might have to invite some friends. Oh my God, she ordered a white wine and they served her. So that's drama. She loves it. Maybe we'll just make like a teen club. Requirement is you have to be a teen. Gladys can join. We're gonna have Lake, Clay, Amira, McKenna, maybe Bethany. And club activities, we don't really have any. All right, so Teen Club Club is gathering. Blake is here. Blake wants to be best friends. Well, I guess they're just friends. Sure, of course. They give me frenemies vibes though, to be honest. Oh my God, there's my rival. Okay, now we can officially become rivals. Throw some shade. Be like, whoa, who said you could join Teen Club Club? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do like a little what's that spot. Gladys, we are not friends. So we are not gonna hang out. Nobody be friends with Gladys, okay? We're gonna claim she's an alien. We're mortified, oh no. She's having like a mood swing too. Belittle her anger. Be like, why are you so bad out of shape anyway? Tell her she looks like a plant sim. Ew. Ew. Here's a gift, it's a fart. Yeah, that's what you get for trying to tell me I can't be on the cheer team because I can. I'm gonna do whatever I want and you can't stop me. Fight her, yay. Okay, now we can finally have our enemy rival, which is great. They're getting a fight. Woo, oh my gosh. Blake is just at the bar, just being chill. Being like, mm, I don't need to look at this. We beat her, yay. Ivy can't take the feeling that others are just constantly judging her. Oh no. She feels majorly judged by like having a fight with this girl. Okay, they despise each other. Perfect. Okay, now we have to like make her my enemy, right? Oh, declare enemy. There it is. All right, we're super mortified. We've declared her our enemy, which means I think we should have an enemy rival officially. Boom, our aspiration was achieved. Some Sims like to keep things a little messy in a drama like, like Ivy. Messy's the only the beginning. With goals smashed and mayhem ahead. Ivy can now enjoy stirring the pot a little with her newly gained untroubled trait, Revel in the glory, XOXO. Wait, I wanna see this new trait. That sounds really cool. Untroubled Sims always bounce back. After being a drama llama can leave relationships rocky. Nothing's as carefree like moving on and letting go. She's just like, I don't really care. I don't care what you think of me. That's actually a very perfect trait for Ivy. I'm very glad. Oh my gosh, mom's calling. Mom's 
Everyone's been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. It's a huge, oh my gosh. Mom and dad are gonna have a new baby. I am literally a young adult, but that so sounds like something Amber would do. Would just be like, I don't know. She's like a little indecisive and carefree. I totally think she would do something like that. She's gonna get like a little sandwich, I think. She is really sad and mortified. She definitely feels like she's being judged. She needs to figure out her differences with other Sims. Oh, look, it's Aunt Macy. Let's like kind of talk about interests with Macy. And then should we like invite some Sims to bowl? So let's maybe do like Amira, Blake, Clay, Bethany, not Gladys. We're now out past curfew yet. Bethany's enraged. You know what? We should just kick you out. We're going to uh, kick her out of teen club. You're out, girl. Goodbye. Okay, she's gonna join this in progress, Graham. Go, girl, go. Okay, she's not that good, but I kind of love it. Figure out differences with Clay. Yeah, do it, girl. Go off. He's like, hey, you know, it wasn't cool when you fought her, but honestly, she was bad vibes anyway, so no worries. Okay, one out of two. She's gonna figure out differences with Blake too, her kind of frenemy. It's a little awkward, but I think we're gonna get over our fear, so that's nice. Yeah, we got over our fear. Awesome. Curfew's about to start. Oh, no. Oh, bro, are you okay? Alexandra Tinker did not have a good time throwing that. Oh, my God. Blake kind of liked our flirting. Oh crap, it might be time for us to go. Bye, I don't wanna miss my curfew. But she's feeling very confident after flirting a little bit with our girl Blake, you know? I don't know what's going on with her, but she thinks Blake's cute, I think. So why not? She's being a little chaotic. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs to bed. Mom, look, see, I'm home mostly at curfew. Probably, kinda. Don't be mad at me, mom. Aspen, what are you doing? Are you going to sleep in the sleeping bag outside? Aspen's like, I need some space. Oh, that's kind of cute. He's in his old sleeping bag. Ivy hasn't slept in that sleeping bag in ages. And Amber's, ooh, oh my gosh. Are you guys gonna try for a baby? They did talk about having a baby, you know? And that baby won't be mine to raise. Oh, they are gonna try for a baby. We'll see if they have the baby. I'm not going to mess with it. And then of course, classically Peach walking in during the woohoo. I feel like that's just such a dog thing. <laughs> like Peach, give up some privacy. Uh, Ivy's sleeping. Everyone's going to sleep. Teddy's taking a bath because he's in a silly goofy mood. He wants to be friendly with Amber. Oh, he wants to be friendly with his wife. How cute is that? Give Peach some love and give her a little kissy and then go to bed because it's 2 a.m. my dude. Okay. He's feeling pretty good. Pleasantly satisfied. How's she feeling? Also pleasantly satisfied. They had a good woohoo. Happy for them. I am wearing pink today. It's just because I was in the mood to wear pink. I forgot to wear green for this episode. So, oh no. Oh my gosh. Peach is having another cold. Dude, you're using up all the dog treats. But Aspen's going to wake up and maybe give Peach a dog treat. Peach, come back, come back. I have a wellness treat for you. Oh, <laughs> bugs. You bugs from slumbering in a sleeping bag. Aspen might be able to see them, but he can feel skittery legs. Oh no. Okay, Peach is feeling better now. Then you need to take a shower, my dude. Ivy, you got school really soon, girl. I think you need to quickly take a shower as well and then try to go get some food. Ivy's feeling very confident in herself. I'm wondering if anything happened on Social Bunny. Oh! Blake saying, hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, hi, Blake. Okay. Bethany saying nice things. Amelia saying nice things. Blake is saying your style is everything. Hey, okay. Ooh, she's in her dark phase today. We are going to follow both Ivy and Aspen. Oh my God, Ivy's in her like grumpy phase today. Love to see it. Oh my gosh. Oh, but she's in her cheer fit today at school. Repping the cheer. I love it. We're going to grab a little fried chicken slider for breakfast. Aspen also hasn't really had any food and didn't shower. Aspen, why don't you go take a quick shower downstairs and then you can go grab some food. We're gonna go back to our original aspiration, the computer whiz aspiration. Yeah, so we'll go back to that one. Make a video games or an app. Ooh, we can work on that. Who's this it's over here? Rowan, he seems new. Let's do a little friendly introduction. Aspen's getting his hygiene up, feeling a little better about himself. We're introducing ourselves to the new student. Wow, who loves makeup? Good for you, Rowan. I love your self-expression. Maybe we'll just monkey around. Oh, I'm glad that he's a jokester. 
kind of like her, so that's good. Hopefully we can eat like a little apple or something. Yes, King, there you go. All right, get to class, go, 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 go. Ooh, okay. Maybe we'll send like a cute little flirty message to Blake. Oh, we can't. We can send one to Kenya and Haley and Carrie, but not Faith. Oh, huh, weird. We had a crush on Kaden for a hot minute and then she started dating Violet, but Kaden was like evil. It'd be interesting if Kaden was maybe the father of the baby that's coming, I don't know. Let's be friendly with a faculty member. Aspen's like straight to food, I am hungry. I'm not seeing anyone else rocking their like cheer fit. So maybe while we're waiting in, in the middle of lunch period, we'll work on our cheer a bit. Since I think we might have cheer after school today. We wanna show up and show our rival that we mean business with cheer. So we're gonna go use the toilet and then we're gonna go practice our cheer with our little mat. We could try to perform a solo routine with cheer. Let's see how that goes. Okay, here we go, girl. Here we go. Okay. You know, she's not the lowest level of fitness, but she's definitely not the highest. She's much better of a dancer. Ooh, yeah. Okay, well, you just keep working on that, girl. Maybe try to keep your arms straight. Okay, it's fine. You know what? We can work on it. Did that count towards practicing? It did, actually. We're in our foreign language class, so that's good. Working on our cute charisma. Aspen starts his chest soon, and we have cheerleading. I think at the point she, like, became captain of the computer team, she was kind of like, I don't have anything to learn. So she's like, eh, I don't need anything with chess team. I'm over it. And the kids are now done with class. They're going home. That school day, I feel like went so fast. Oh my God, Blake's calling. <gasps> and she wants to go on a date. Should we ditch cheer to go on a date with Blake? Obviously, we're not allowed to say no. She asked us on a date to a wedding venue. That kind of sounds like such a teenager thing to do, to be like, hey, this like wedding venue's all set up for a wedding. Do you want to go like crash it and like pretend? I totally did that with like my high school boyfriend. We went to like an Ikea or whatever, or like some sort of furniture store. And we went and pretended we were like snobby people the whole time. And like that we lived in the furniture store with all the fancy furniture. Oh my God, she can kiss her. The date is working out actually. Blake did not leave the date. And oh my gosh, we're gonna kiss her. So with this beautiful view in front of a boat. So we could like fantasize about weddings, rave about growing up. We can flirt with her. Look at her fangirling about weddings. They can like sit and chat there. Now, hilariously, this is where I think some of my Sims have gotten married. Oh my God, and as usual, there is a rampaging werewolf dancing in the background. There is like a downstairs with some bathrooms and like a beautiful fountain area, which is random, I love it. They could mess around in a bush. I feel like they should do that. Okay, well, she and Blake are messing around. The girls that I thought would be enemies has turned out to be friends and lovers. My enemies to lovers romance has not happened yet, but that doesn't mean it won't happen eventually. Where's the bush that you can mess around in? Oh my gosh, it's all the way up here. Oh my God, was that my uncle? <gasps> He's so gonna tell my mom on me. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. My mom is gonna find out that I was skipping cheer to hook up with a girl at a wedding venue. Oops. Ivy, Ivy! Aspen's back from his chest and Ivy fell out of the range to turn the responsible tree. That's probably because she's not very responsible, to be honest. Let's go sweet talk Blake and give her a little suave kiss. They're definitely like vibing. I don't know if they'd actually like officially date. They give me the vibe of like just teen girls that want to like kind of flirt and make out, but like, I don't know. There's still plenty of Sims I think that I downloaded from you guys that I haven't met. I also think it could be fun if maybe you guys made some new Sims for young adult Ivy to meet. So maybe some Sims in her career, which her career is going to be tech guru. You can make some Sims who are fellow hackers of hers that she might meet online. And definitely if any of you have any really good enemies to lovers romance ideas, put those in the comments. Male, female, doesn't matter. You can make whoever for Ivy. She kind of dates everybody. And make sure that they're probably able to impregnate her so that that can be an option. Put that in there in like two weeks. So maybe not next episode, but the episode after that, I might check on those. So, ooh, we got a nice little kiss on the hand. Oh, we're gonna keep sweet talking her, I think. I wanna make her very charismatic. Oh no! Uncle August has seen me for sure. Uh, hi, Uncle August. Oh, I am gonna be a... I think she might run home, actually. This date was so fun. I gotta go. 
Actually, you know what? Mom's normally the one that talks to her. I think dad's going to talk to her this time because he's actually really close to August now that I think about it. So I bet August would text him. Yeah, we're going to have a little argument about house rules. Be like, girl, I got a call from Uncle August that you skipped cheer. You just told me that you were going to be dedicated to cheer. I don't think that you're taking this very seriously. I'm going to be grounding you from your social life in a minute here, Missy. Ooh, she's mad. Ooh, I think that doll in a trash can makes me feel like he's talking about her woohooing in a bush. And she's like, I'm almost an adult, okay? I'm gonna get out of this house as soon as I can. Oh, they having a fight. Oh, she's feeling really hurt from that. And dad's mad. She wants to go ask mom for advice. Oh, she's gonna go to mom. She's gonna be like, mom, dad got mad at me. I know I should have gone to cheer, but you know, I'm doing my best. I'm an adult. I should be able to make my own adult decisions. Teach about responsibility. We're gonna be like, hey, you know, I think you just need to be a little bit more responsible. When you say you're gonna do something, you should do it. So like either you need to commit to this cheer squad or you should probably quit. You know, you shouldn't have done it. Oh, and Ivy learned to be responsible again. I did not intend for that to happen, to be honest. Power shut off. Oh my God. Poor Ives can't use her computer right now, which sucks. So let's instead go fill the bowl and get some leftovers. Oh my God, power day ended. Thank goodness. We're gonna grab some food and then we'll probably try to make like a video game or an app. She's eating some chocolate cake. Perfect. <laughs> we'll try the app first. Maybe we'll make a game later. All right. So she's working on her little mobile game. Dad's feeling flirt. Hey. Oh, la 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 la. Oh my God. Did she throw up? If she threw up, maybe she should take a pregnancy test. Tell your peach to not drink the throw up water, please. <gasps> she's eating for two. Oh my God. Amber's pregnant. Mom is pregnant. Oh my God. They're going to be pregnant around the same time. Oh my God. Ivy's computer broke. Ivy, you got to repair that girl. Ivy would do it herself. She would not try to buy a new one. We started our app. Oh, she made it. It was that easy? What's the app that you made, girl? Okay, well, great. She made the app. That's done. Easy peasy, I guess. Now she's gonna go to bed. I feel like mom's gonna tell her kids that she's pregnant. They're gonna be like, what? That's probably like a 17 year age difference between Ivy and that kid. And tomorrow is my birthday. We gotta plan a birthday event, I think. The birthday sim is gonna be ugly. The guests are gonna be Blake. Ooh, we might invite our ex just for funsies. Bethany, Clay, Faith, Kenya, uh, Carrie, McKenna, Amira, Show, Maritzia, Peyton, Caden. And we're going to have it at like the discotheque. And we'll have it at like eight. Start early. She's gonna have her birthday at the club. Oh my God, Teddy is learning to cheer. Teddy might also be going through a little bit of a surprise here. He loves picking up new hobbies. So I'm not fully surprised, but let's cook like maybe a little breakfast. She's defo pregnant. Oh my goodness. Mom, maybe before school when they're having breakfast, she's gonna try to talk to him. I'm not quite sure. But Aspen is up early. He's asking mom for some advice, I think. Oh, he's not sure what he wants to be when he grows up. That makes sense. I think that he likes chess. He's liked scouts. He loves animals, I'm pretty sure, but he's not quite sure like what he wants to do. You know, you've got time, buddy. He's given some love as usual to Peach. It's love day. Oh, Ivy. I feel like would love to go out on love day, but I don't know if her parents are gonna let her because she just got in trouble. I think dad's gonna be like, no, you're not going out on love day. Does she have cheer today? She does not. She joined cheer, fought a rival, and then didn't go to the one practice before graduation. I'm deceased. It is what it is. Oh my God, my mom's vomiting. I think this might be the time to come out and tell your children that you are pregnant. Yeah, share the big news with both of them. Oh my God, and she's sick. Oh my gosh, she's gotta go get some medicine. She's having some reactions to being pregnant. That's it's fine, makes sense. I am pregnant. She's like, what? Look at her face. She just looks absolutely shook. Yeah, Ivy's like, what? Mom, what? <laughs> but what, what do you mean? Okay, now she's gonna tell Aspen. Just as the school bus comes. Well, Aspen will tell you later. I mean, honestly, I feel like his sister's gonna tell him on the school bus, so she's probably gonna want to have told him in person, but she didn't have time and we're definitely gonna tell him. So he's probably gonna know and be like, what, really? Huh, why? Another day at school. Ivy, I think might want to play some video games today. Work on that gaming skill, my girl. We're gonna sit down. Oh my God, it's my enemy. You better get out. He's like, oh, it's you. And she's like, yeah, it is me. He feels nervous. Oh my God, we can't even sit in this room with him. It's 
so awkward. We're finally both sitting down to play this game. Aspen's probably like, um, sis, what do you mean? What do you mean mom is pregnant? She's like, I mean what I said, mom is pregnant. Oh, what the heck is the teacher's deal? Embarrassed, what's going on? She just acted like she had some sort of weird reaction. Meanwhile, we're playing video games, okay? We're gonna level up this skill. You guys have fun with whatever you're doing. Oh, now we gotta go to class. Shoot, it is exam day. It's her final exams before she leaves. Final day! She's definitely got senioritis, like going downstairs playing video games before her exam. Like, I don't care. Now he's very angry. Why? You cannot unsee privacy violation. What is going on with all my Sims today? Oh wait, you do need to take the exam. No, don't prank the whiteboard. Take your exam. What is happening? Scribble furiously. Why aren't my Sims taking their exams? Okay, let's save the game. Maybe restart it? Okay, well, you know what? My game glitched. I don't know what's going on. Oh no, it's lunch. What? Since when is it lunch hour? Well, that exam was quick. Whatever, we're gonna go back downstairs and play more video games. <laughs> That'll be our little goal for school today as we're gonna level up to level seven. I feel like he just wants to vent. Maybe you need to like kind of rant and rave to her. That's what it sounds like is happening anyway. She's like, oh my gosh, okay. Something about the teacher or that test he felt that was very unfair. Either way, she's like, yeah, 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 buddy. She's not really paying attention because she's obviously very focused on her video game that she's so close. Ah, we fried out the computer. Well, not my problem. She is very sad that she fried the computer though. She was just about to win. And Aspen's going through a distant phase and he wants to be alone. Okay, well, that's not good. Are we gonna take our exam or no? Apparently, no. My Sims are just not doing their work today. You know, it's the last day of school for our girl. I don't blame her. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. There we go. Everybody's finally starting to sit down to take this silly exam. And and it's over. Aspen had a rough exam day and Ivy aced him. How does this keep happening? That poor guy is just having the worst time in school even though he's just absolutely brilliant. He's like an actual genius and he's having the worst time in school. I feel like that actually is a thing where, you know, just school isn't like a good fit for some people. I think Aspen is one of them. He's more of like an outdoorsy boy. Why don't you go downstairs, use the console and finish your gaming skill. All right, we're gonna get up to at least level seven of gaming. There we go, finally, our brothers like just doing a little dancey dance. Mom's home and she's a notable newcomer. Okay, she's like slightly famous now from like some sort of detective case that she's been doing. Dad's home. Oh, she's talking to her uncle. Maybe he's probably to check in to be like, hey, I'm sorry that I tattled on you to your dad. I hope that you can find it in yourself to forgive me. And she's like, yeah, maybe she needs to make up with her dad anyway. You know, do like a little apology or maybe he should come apologize to her and be like, I'm sorry I came down hard on you. It's just because I care about you. He wants to clear the air with his daughter, especially like right before her birthday. Oh, and Amber's burned out. Must have been a pretty bad case for her to become famous and then be burned out about it. Yeah. Oh, and give the woohoo talk. That's gonna be funny. He's gonna give her the little woohoo talk really fast. Oh, they're close. They've got a family dynamic. They will actively seek each other's company when nearby, keep in better touch when living in separate household and gain additional positive movements from spending quality time together. Him and his little baby girl. I mean, like he was like obsessed when she was little. Like he constantly was at her side. Maybe he could buy a little rose for her. Buy a couple roses for the girls in his life and give a, like a little love day gift to his daughter and then to his wife. Favu. Aww. She loved it. Very sweet. He's giving his lovely pregnant wife a rose. They still got that romance going on for love day. And Ivy, maybe we'll like watch like some romantic television and get, oh, the console's broken. Well, she's got to fix that first. And then we can maybe watch a romance. I feel bad because I was like, well, I want her to go out on a date, but the console's broken. Like she's got to do that now. She can't just wait around and not do the console, you know? That'd be crazy. Oh, now she's getting tired. Shoot, I really messed this up. I think I goofed this. Uncle August is here. Oh, she got electrocuted. Why didn't I see that happen? Oh my God. The dog keeps drinking into the vomit toilet. It's so bad. Dang it, she didn't do anything for love day. I feel bad, but she spent some quality time with her dad, cleared the air there, which I think was important. She also got fried, so not quite the love day vibes that we would hope for, but she's just playing her modded games and going to sleep because she's pretty exhausted. Okay, she's going to bed. Aspen's doing his homework. He's feeling very focused. Amber is meditating. Queen. Who is that? Who's at the house? That's Faith. Why is Faith at our house at midnight on love day and like didn't say hi? That is so mysterious. 
I wonder what happened. Well, no one really had that great of a love day. Yeah, love day was awful for all of my sins. I kind of didn't do much, but we're gonna finish our food, clean this toilet for mom. Oh, and it's her birthday today. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's already her birthday. Oh my God, I made the birthday party at 8 a.m. I'm gonna cancel it. How do I keep messing up events at an event? It is a birthday party. Birthday is Ivy at the club discotheque. 8 p.m. Like, girl, I need to get her ready for the day. We got to give her a little club fit to wear because Ivy is nothing if not the girl that would definitely get a birthday outfit together. All right, we're going to go plan our outfit. Ah! She's gonna get a new look. So Ivy Berry. So this is one of her party looks. This is her second party look, but we're gonna make a third one. This will be her like night out. Maybe we'll do the braids. That looks kind of cool. Let's do like a little short dress or we could do a top and a bottom. Ooh, I like that. I like the idea of jeans or like a little skirt maybe. I like the one without that. And then we've got the boots. I might still go with these random star heels. Ooh, we can even do her nails do like a fun longer nail for just for this night i might give her like a little waist chain in like a green or maybe like a silver to match the shoes i think we can just do like her e-girl makeup kind of vibe do like a little smoky eye maybe Ooh, okay girl go off but then we still we need her classic blush across the nose and then we'll do like a lip Ooh, oh my gosh miss ivy i think this is Super cute. Maybe we should do some buns instead because I feel like we're losing a bit of like Ivy style here with some of this. This one's okay. I like it. It's got a little bit of the buns that still make it her, but it's like kind of a little bit more elevated like she's going out. But I think she looks cute. You. She's ready to go. Let's do it. What? What is happening? Oh, Peach is dying. Oh no, Peach. Oh, Peach. Oh, you poor baby. And Aspen is yelling at his mom. No one's noticing that Peach is, oh my God. This is so sad. I wasn't ready for this. But Ivy's gonna witness it. Oh my God. Oh, well now Ivy's birthday is gonna be ruined. Poor Peach. Can we like beg for Peach's life, please, please? Let us not lose Peach today. Poor Peach was the perfect doggo. We never have pets for long enough. They are too good for this world. Peach is in a better place now. I'm gonna put Peach in Ivy's inventory only so we can add it to the family grave site. Well, now we're super duper sad. We got double mourning our pet and we have an awful holiday. Gotta call a sadness hotline. Oh my God, we got 17 more hours and two more days of mourning her pet. Oh my God girl. I don't know if she's gonna want to go to the club. Maybe we should just have like a low-key birthday party with our family. I don't know. This is so sad. I think she'll try to cook herself her own cake because mom doesn't really like cooking. Let's try to do a matcha tea cake. Hopefully it works out okay. Maybe like wind down with some classical music while you're cooking. Chat with your brother. Aww. Woohoo! We're level four now of cooking skill. Good job, girl. Okay, we're gonna put that in your inventory. You know what? Maybe I'll put some birthday candles on it first. Perfect. All right, now we're just gonna try to handle our emotions. Write in your journal. Express them, girl. You got this. Oh God, Amber's got a new quirk and it's emotion bomb from being famous. Oh no, poor Amber. Amber, why don't you like relax outside in the sun? We've leveled up our writing skill from writing. Oh, and her emotional control fell out of the range to earn the uncontrolled emotions trait. Dang it. I forgot that we were trying to work on not having that, but then we were like, no, we're gonna have that. She's still very sad, but otherwise she's feeling okay. I think if we just keep kind of pushing her to like cheer up a bit, we're obviously still going to be in mourning, but I hopefully she will still have a fairly good birthday. I don't know. I mean, how do you celebrate your birthday when your dog dies? I'm not quite sure, to be honest. Why don't you play Genie's Curse? You know, play a little video game. Hopefully that can help cheer you up. Okay, let's start. Our birthday is happening. Thank goodness. Oh my God. Oh my friends are here and a lot of them are wearing green. Oh Oh my goodness, and we are feeling happy. So let's thank everybody for coming. Yes, the DJ's here. Everybody come in together. We're gonna dance the night away with all of our friends. 
We're chatting with our bestie, Kenya. It's been a minute since we've like actually hung out with Kenya. So it's really nice to see her, giving her a hug. We're gonna order a Bridgeport, something expensive. This is on my parents' tab. Can we put this on a table and do the happy birthday kind of vibe? She's gonna go blow out her candles. Show finally showed up. Look who showed up. It's Show Ito. But our one crush never came. The guy that's like an evil guy, he didn't come to the party, which is kind of sad. Thought that we'd make some silly little mistakes with him and ivy has officially aged up we are adding her final thing which is squeamish and we're still continuing on of course with our computer whiz aspiration we've graduated with honors so let's have everybody come grab some cake together and we become an adult so we just need to reach level three of the tech guru career looking happy she's got her purple contacts in you know we're hanging out with our friends i think i want to age up a couple of our friends to be adults with us or at least see when they become adults kenya i think we're about the same age so i'm going to really quick make her a young adult as well so happy birthday kenya my best friend enthuse about meal we're like Ooh, the cake is so good. I'm pretty proud of it because I made it myself. Um, the rest of them, I probably will let kind of age up as they go. Oh, are these two vibing? Oh my God, it looks like Peyton's flirting with Clay, which is cute. Also, maybe Sho is making some eyes at McKenna. Oh my gosh, everyone is flirting but me and it's my birthday. We're gonna form a group with all my friends and we're gonna go down here and do like a group dance together. I'm an adult now. I can officially make myself drinks whenever I want, which will be fun. Oh my gosh, the DJ's leaving. Okay, well, that's awkward. I guess let's turn on some hip hop here. So awkward. Okay, here we go. We're doing our group dance. The DJ set ended and we're really tired. It was a really rough day, honestly, but our main event, our queen B needs to have her little dance party with all her besties, you know, closing it out with the dance team. Go Ivy. But this is our new era of life. We're gonna become kind of like a sneaky little hacker and then get caught and end up in the tech guru career, which we have to master so we probably should get caught pretty soon and we need to master our mixology video gaming programming skills i'm gonna really work hard more on the mixology skill now hopefully we'll be moving out into our new place i haven't built a new place yet for ivy so i will probably be doing that hopefully before the next video hey go off team and she loved it she loved doing her little dance i feel like that just made her whole day her crazy chaotic teenage years are over and now we are entering Ivy's young adult years. Babies, more drama. Let me know all of your guys' thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Make sure to upload your Sims for Ivy's new era in the gallery using hashtag Kelsey, not so Barry. And I will be checking in those out soon. So try to upload them sooner rather than later. And until then, guys, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye!